Hey, um, last uh, video I talked about how to set up a uh, an M file uh, function, MATLAB function, as an M file. Uh, now I want to show you how why we might want to do that. Um, now the the function I set up was a function I called square root, which kind of didn't make any sense because uh, uh, MATLAB already has a built-in square root function, but it uh, uh, shows how we can use these user-defined functions. So here's the, the function I defined, uh, square root. Now I want to show how we can use this function in other MATLAB programs. First, let me remind you here that down in the command window, I if I type square root, S-Q-A-R-E, um, R-O-O-T, open paren, 229, close paren, and then hit return. It gives me the square root of that 229, 15.1327. Okay, now I want to set up another M file script. And um, uh, so I'm going to go up here to new, new script there, new script. Now I'm going to type a, a new script, but one that refers back to square root. And this is why I said earlier, last time, previous video, that uh, you know, MATLAB has to know the path where to go find these M files, because if it doesn't know the path, it will give me an error if I try to use a user-defined function where the path to that function is not being uh, utilized when MATLAB looks for the function. But I think we should be okay here. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to set up a, a new function. I'm going to set up a for loop, which we already know how to do. For um, i equals 1 colon 10. Okay, so I'm going to go i goes 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 10. And notice I didn't put i colon 1 colon 10 because it automatically assumes uh, my unit steps are being used if I don't put anything. So i goes from 1 to 10, and I'm going to say xi xi equals s-q-u-a-r-e square root r-o-o-t of i there. And then I will put um, the end of the for loop, end. There's the end of the for loop. Um, let me put a semicolon here so it's not going to print out. Well, first I'll do this uh, without. I'll just leave the semicolon off. Let's run this and see if it runs. Okay, I have to save this. So I'll call it a test file. How's that? Save test file. And now it's executed. Um, what's happening here, I'll say this, I've said it before, when i equals 1, there's only one value, uh, x is now an array that has 10 elements in it after it executes this. So you see down here, x is an array, and it has the square root of 1, the square root of 2, the square root of 3, and so on in it. i is an array, too, that has 10 elements in it. So first time through, when i is equal to 1, there's only one value of x in the x-ray. So it prints out that one value of the x-ray. The square root of 1 is 1. Second time through, when i is equal to 2, x is now an array that has two elements in it. It has the i equal 1 component already computed and stored. And now it's just got the i equal 2 component, the square root of 2. So, I, so x has two elements in it, the square root of 1 and the square root of 2. Then we go up i equal 3. x has three numbers in it, square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3. So that's why every time through the through the for loop, as it print out x, prints out x, first time 2, it prints out 1, then it prints out 1 and the square root of 2, then it prints out 1, the square root of 2, and square root of 3, and so on. So if I put a semicolon here, it still computes it, but it won't print it out. So I'll put a semicolon there. Now I can graph uh, the square roots. I can see how the square roots, how that graph looks 
uh, as a function of i. So let's try that. Let's do plot. I'm going to plot uh, i, comma, x, there, oh, lowercase x, x, and then see what happens when I do that. So, uh, oh boy, the, the figure here is kind of messed up. wonder why it does that. I haven't done anything with I. Let me try something just a little bit different here. I can't even read those elements. Let me say uh, xi, xi equals i semicolon, and then down here, let's let yi equal the square root, yi equal the square root, semicolon. And now down here, let me plot x comma y and see if that works any better. Here, let me clear this. So now I'll see, clear. Okay, run there. Okay, I don't know why it's coming out small like this. Okay, but you can see here I have x goes 1, 2, up to 10, and then this is the square root. Um, and uh, the square root of that, uh, of that number, and uh, y is coming out, not filling up the entire window. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. And I, I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Okay, so this is now my test of using the built-in square root function. Okay, uh, and then I use that in a for loop, and then I use that to do a plot. So this is an example of, uh, of three different things that we've uh, learned how to do in, uh, in MATLAB. So until next time.